this is the last little bit of maths we're going to be doing before I actually get stuck into doing things. What we're going to do now is work out what size we need the holes in this burner tube. We mentioned last week that the burner tube needs to be twice the diameter of the turbocharger inducer and six times as long. So this needs to be 80mm diameter which it is and 220mm long which is about there. We've got a little bit to trim off. The first thing we need to work out is the area of the turbocharger inlet or the inducer. To work out the area from school it's pi times radius squared. Pi is 3.142. The radius is half a down, out is 20 squared. I'll get my calculator and we'll work that out. Right, this is a machinist calculator. It was bought to me by a friend of mine, a lad called Herb Blair, when I was in Texas a few years ago. Right, so on 3.142, which is pi, times the radius which is 2, I'm going to use whole numbers instead of going into millimetres so it'll be in centimetres times 2 equals 12.568 so that's the area of the inducer of the turbocharger 12.568 we said we wanted 30% primary 20% secondary and 50% Territory, I think it's territory, to Terry. Anyway, we'll call them dilution holes. So we want 30% of that. Right, I've rounded the area up to 12.6. So it's 12.6 divided by 100 times 30 equals 3.78. So 3.78 is 30% of the area of the inducer. For primary holes I thought about 4mm and I'm going to put 24 holes in. So we need to know the area of a 4mm hole. That gives you 3 which isn't, isn't quite enough, we need a little bit bigger than that. So we'll do it again using 4.5mm holes. 3.8 so that'll do. The 3.8 is very very near. So 24 holes at 4.5mm will give us that area there. So if I put 24 4.5mm holes in the end of here, it's going to give a surface area of 3.8 centimetres, which is 30% of the 12.5 centimetres of the inducer. Divide this up into 24. Well, two rows of 12 actually. So all we'll do and simply mark the piece of paper so that goes around there once like that then we'll just divide that into 12 put some marks on, tape it to there and then we can drill the holes I've set up a simple gig. The drill's actually in the centre there, and I found a centre drill which is 4.5mm across, which is ideal because it'll leave a nice little chamfered hole. So I'm just going to drill each one and turn, turn it round until we get all 12 holes drilled. I'm going to put a little bit of lube on because stainless steel is not pleasant stuff to drill at all. The first one. It's not super critical, but we'll get them so they look reasonable. The last flame tube I had had holes everywhere because 
once we'd run the engine a few times we would see where the, the hot spots were and you modify it to, to get the burn where you want it. Gotta make sure you don't get this too hot because stainless steel goes really hard. Or at least this stuff does when it gets hot. I'm not sure how great a stainless steel it is, it's a, the sort of stainless steel you get for nothing, so you can't really complain about it. Right, we'll set it for the next ring of holes which need to be about that far, 15mm further down. Good. I'm going to drill them in between those two. I'm not going to measure it, I'm just going to eyeball in between those two. I'm going to leave the paper and tape on because it seems to be holding a little bit of cutting oil quite nicely. Right, so that's the centre there. And we'll go around in exactly the same, put that ring of holes in. Eyeballing is certainly near enough for this because the air is not going to go circulate around and think this holes half a mil out of line, I can't go through there it will work I'm sure I'm losing a plot here you know it's actually starting to blunt the centre drill so I think I could have a little bit of foam drilling the, the bigger holes So using the same formula, I've worked out that I need five 8mm holes around there and that'll give me 20% of the area of the turbocharger inducer. It's interesting this using pi because when I was at school I thought you'll never use this but I did use it in calculations for engine compression ratios and I'm using it here for working out these areas. It's surprising things you think are completely irrelevant and you can use Unfortunately, when I was at school, there was none of these. It was all log tables and slide rules, which really did make you think. Anyway, we'll decide where we're going to put the row of 5.8mm holes, and we'll do exactly the same with the paper templates, and we'll get them drilled. Right, these are the five secondary holes. I don't know if there's a formula which tells you how far apart to put these th three different sections. I'm just looking at images of flame tubes that I've built in the past and I know the work. See the, the primary air goes in there and the idea is the fire is contained in this bit here and then your final air goes down there, your dilution air to cool things down. Exactly the same setup to drill the 8 mil holes, slightly smaller spot driller, centre drill and then an 8 mil carbide drill through. All my drills really are good. This is not nice material that's going through there quite splendidly. You must keep the material cool. If it gets too hot, it goes hard and yeah, and you have got problems. Some cheap and cherry, bang good. 
counter sinks to do a review on sometime. We'll give them a little try on here, see what they do with the stainless. That's alright, nothing wrong with that. Right, the last row of holes are going to be 13mm diameter, 5 13mm holes. It'll give us what I'm looking for, 50% of the surface area. This is not pleasant material at all, this. Got the belts purposely set slack so it will slip when that happens. I've got a 13mm ball end milling cutter here, a carbide one. That should hopefully that's nice, I like it. Nice and controllable. Do rag on them and this one here hasn't quite drilled round a little bit of work with it. I will sort that out. Right, that's basically the flame tube done. Primary, secondary, dilution holes or territory holes. There's a little bit of cut off the end of here. We've got some flanges and things to make and some welding to do.